We're back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you. Of course, we are pleased to be joined by Carson Quapel. Of course, if you haven't heard, last week it was announced that he would be going to JRM's late model program, the newest driver of that program that has produced so many um, winners, including Josh Berry, Christian Eckes, Sam Mayer, and countless and co- countless others. Um, Carson, how are you, bud? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Doing well. I know you've been killing it on the late model scene. Um, uh, by the way, of course, won a championship this year. How cool was that? Yeah, that was really cool. There was really only like two ways we could have won it. And we basically just had to dominate the whole race and get qualifying and basically have a perfect night. And that's what we did. And we were able to take home with the win. Yeah. So coming into this uh, this year and being part of this junior motorsports program, what, what is that? What does that mean to you to be part of such a su- such a program that's produced that's produced a lot of guys to have a pretty successful careers in racing? Yeah, it's really awesome. I mean, I know that it means that I have a really good car that I can uh, go in and win. And uh, it's really nice being able to talk to guys like Josh that have ran that car forever. And uh, just knowing that you're, you don't have to really have, like, I'm the one that has to get better. The car is already good. So uh, just a little bit of tweaks to the car and I just got to work on myself. So that makes it a lot easier. Yeah, for sure. So, so far this, uh, this year, you've been really killing it on the late model scene. What, uh, I know you got some big races coming up um, in, the next few mo- in the next few months to close out the year. But almost, what are, what's been the biggest race that you've, been, that you've won this year? What, what's been your best moment so far? I'd say it was probably Nashville with the Super Late Model and North-South Shootout race. Uh, that was just, it's just really cool to win at Nashville and against almost 30 guys that are top-notch stuff. I mean, uh, it was only our second time there, and we basically just dominated the whole race and had a really good car. So that's probably the biggest one, uh, definitely, I'd say. You know, of course, the Quapel family, very well known. Obviously, we all know what uh, the career that your dad had in, in racing. Your younger brother is actually uh, working his way up the ranks as well. How about that? Yeah, sort of, sort of. He's just a little behind me like usual. <laughs> <laughs> of course you I, of course you would say that um i mean you are you are siblings at best but uh but overall i know that talk about some of the big races that you do have coming up uh so we just ran the all america 400 that was one of our end of the year races in the super a model we ended up fourth there but uh other than that we ran the fall brawl this saturday at uh hickory in the jrm car um, and then we're running the Florence 400 at the end of the year down at Florence Motor Speedway. And I think that's, that's it to close out the season. And really I, nothing else planned as of right now that I can think of. All right. No, no derby or anything. No, we were thinking about it, but we figured we should probably focus on the JRM deal and yeah. it's a lot of money and a lot of time to do it. Yeah, for sure. So, um, Let's uh, let's kind of get to know you a little bit. A lot of people don't. We did this we did this last time you were on, but let's uh, let's let's get to know a little bit about Carson Quapel. Well, I started running Bandoleros in 2013 and moved up the Legend cars and then ran Outlaw carts all the classes in Millbridge for five or six years. Won a few championships there, and then in 2017 ran a few eight model stock races. Um, then. 2019 started running the super late model and uh now we're back to late models all right well let's get to know you outside of racing how about that yeah sure um well i guess what i like hold on let me yeah uh, let, me, let me come in there because i got i got some stuff that maybe I. Okay. Uh, all right so they were talking about this on racing i don't know if you listen to racing spaces or anything like that but they were talking about seven up cakes and stuff have you had one of those I've never heard of it, so probably not. Basically, it's like a 7-Up cake like t- that tastes like it. You can get it at like Aldi or something. They were talking about it last night, about talking about eating that. So, I don't know. Maybe something else. So, like, what's your, like, go-to, like, like what's your, like, go-to snack food? Maybe if you're out of the track or you're just at home or you're in school or something. What do you uh, uh, For me, like, I don't really snack much, but I'd say – It'd probably be like, like Slim Jims. Those things, those things go missing at the end of the week. They're all out. Um, 
that's Slim Jims and granola bars. That's really about it. Yeah. All right. Uh, what's your go-to place for food? Like, it's like going out to get something, that, the tea or something. like. Uh, so Bojangles has got to be the one. I go there all the time. Uh, let me think. Bojangles and then, God, that's really about it. I eat Bojangles a lot. Yeah, paging Michael Carey. There, there may. I don't know if there's any Bojangles in Arizona, but uh, he will. If there is one, he will find one. Um, that kid, that guy, is always over there. Um, let's see. What's the, what's the coolest track that you've been to? Uh, I'd say it's got to be Nashville. It's just super fun. Very technical track, and it's really fast too. Uh, I just love the high banks of it, and surprisingly, you got to hit it perfectly to be fast. On a scale of one to ten, how much you how much do you care about your hair? Uh, I mean, probably like a three, like <laughs> two or three. I really don't care. I and mean, you are growing out a mullet or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think other people care about it more than I do. Oh boy. Yep. Oh, you're good. All right, gotcha. Yeah, uh, I think other people care about it more than I do, but eh. yeah, yeah, for sure. Um. Let's see. Is there a track that you want to race at? Uh, I'd like to go to Winchester at some point yeah. or Bristol in the super in a cup car too. <laughs> That'd be cool. Um, that's about the only two that are like standouts to me. Just seeing how fast those places are and how cool it looks to go down there and run. Yeah, for sure. Um, and, th- and then lastly, what's, uh, what do you think your what is your best track that you've been to and the maybe a track that's maybe hasn't given you the best luck or something uh i mean i'd say about the best track that i am at is probably hickory just because we've tested there a bunch and i've ran i'll probably almost 10 races there and i'd say hickory we've won i think i've probably won half the races i've ran there um for the tracks that i don't like it'd probably be there's a track called Jefferson Speedway up in the Midwest. Where that is. I don't like I don't I don't like that place. I just I just don't like it. Um I feel like there's another one. Or maybe a track that you do like or it's giving you bad luck or something. Hmm. Man, I can't think of any. I mean, we've been we've been pretty good at some Dell's Raceway Park. That was one that I kinda like that place. It's just we ran there this year and we we weren't that good at all. That's about it. What's a race that you want? What and finally, what's a like? What's a race that you like want to really do? Like, like a big race, like um, for example, Slinger Nationals or um, five um, Snowball Derby or anything like that. Is there like a bucket list race that you wanted um, that you want to go to and race at? For me, it's got to be the Snowball Derby. Just, I mean, just to go there and make the show is a big deal. Yeah. Uh, and you get a lot of recognition just for making the show. So some point, hopefully next year or the year after, we can make the trip down there, but not this year. All right. Well, Carson Quapel, thanks for uh, thanks for taking some time. Congrats on the announcement, and uh, look to see when you make your uh, JRM debut this weekend. Yep. Thank you.